welcome to bsc statistics students uh, in this class uh, i discuss uh, uh, parametric test versus non parametric test that is i distinguish uh, there are uh, two kinds of test uh, parametric and non parametric test uh, distinguish between parametric and non parametric uh, test okay right uh, if you uh, see that what are the basic differences what are the points which uh, um, which are common which are different um, for these for these uh, uh, in these tests okay we'll see you see this is parametric test and this is non parametric test so so that you can easily identify both the points uh, you see one by one the points the first point the sample observations are independent in parametric test in non parametric test also which are sample observations are independent the parametric test you see the next point variables in the study need not be continuous may be discrete or continuous but whereas in non parametric test variables and study is continuous the third point it depends on the non parametric parametric test parametric test depends on the form of the frequency function from which the samples have drawn that is uh, for any population from any particular population we usually draw the sample observations so from which the from which population we are drawing the samples uh, for that particular population a form of frequency function is uh, needed in the parametric test one particular frequency function it depends on one particular frequency function okay from which the samples have drawn that means which it depends on one particular population for that population frequency function so it depends on the form of the frequency function from which the samples have drawn that is parametric test for non parametric test it does not depend on any particular form of frequency function from which the samples are drawn so it does not require it. fourth one it is based on the assumption that the parent population is assumed to be known generally normal distribution the parent population which from which we are drawing uh, the sample that the parent population is going to be known that is in the parametric test where in the non parametric test uh, do not have any assumption regarding the parent population regarding the parent population non parametric test uh, do not require any assumptions regarding the parent population from which the samples are drawn so that is the in the non parametric test in the parametric test another point uh, we can estimate the population parameters which are not known if the population parameters are not known we can estimate in the parametric methods whereas in the non parametric methods uh, we cannot estimate the population parameters right at the next point if the measurements are nominal or ordinal we cannot apply parametric methods the parametric methods cannot be applied if the measurements are nominal or ordinal i have discussed clearly in the um, previous class of the non parametric methods nominal and ordinal nominal means it's a qualitative for example a sex for example sex or for example education for example uh, literacy like that which are all which can be uh, measured quantitatively with the help of uh, some particular frequency number how many sex two categories uh, for example male and female uh, how many male persons how many female persons, like that but ordinal ordinal means uh, we should put in an order for example there are uh, some uh, education levels literacy levels it is going to be put in a particular order that is uh, uh, ordinal scale ordinal so if the measurements are nominal and ordinal or ordinal then in such a case uh, parametric methods cannot be applied we cannot apply parametric methods whereas if the measurements are nominal or ordinal non parametric methods can be applied only non parametric methods can be applied that is uh, we can easily specify that now 
if you continue the method can be this method non parameter parametric method the parametric method can be applied for the data in ranks and grades it cannot be applied non parameter parametric method cannot be applied for the data for example data is are given in rank, ranks and grades grades and ranks and then parametric methods cannot be applied only the option is non parametric method only the non parametric method can be applied data for ranks and grades okay and similarly come to the one more point the mean and variance are more general statistical measures are used in the parametric method whereas uh, in the non parametric method the mostly used method is, uh, measure is median median is uh, the usual measure of for testing the hypothesis still some more okay is it right in the parametric uh, methods is it clear right in the parametric methods the two test test to test the two independent samples we use t test in the parametric methods in the non parametric method to test the two independent samples we use run test or man with me u test right and to test the paired samples the independent samples are two samples of same size not independent dependent i'm sorry to test the paired samples that is dependent the samples are dependent are two samples of the same size then we use t test when we apply t test in the uh, in the case of parametric test whereas in the non parametric test we use wilcox and saint rank test for paired samples we apply the wilcox and saint rank test all right and uh, finally if you uh, consider parametric methods are more efficient and uh, more power more efficient and uh, powerful parametric methods are powerful than the non parametric methods and uh, non parametric methods are less efficient and uh, uh, less power the power is less it is uh, less efficient also the parametric methods are robust which means strong very strong parametric methods are very strong and non parametric methods are very weak which are weak and uh, in the parametric methods uh, we can draw more conclusions we can give more conclusions because everything we know if the population parameters are not known we estimate it we estimate the parameters if the frequency function is known therefore we can give more conclusions on the frequency function because of the basic fun, one fun, fundamental basic frequency function we have uh, we can conduct we can draw a, a sample based on the uh, uh, population and uh, based on the frequency function we can describe the sample observations and we can describe the uh, uh, what is the nature of the sample observations and how the parameters are going, going to be estimated and which statistics is going to be statistic is going to be formed is going to be considered more relevantly the uh, test statistic is going to be considered more relevantly to the uh, population statements that which is uh, uh, statistical hypothesis for every statistical hypothesis, the most relevant uh, statistic is going to be considered. And so, these are all procedures, so that, therefore, we can give more conclusions. In the non parametric methods, we can draw, we cannot draw more conclusions. We can draw many uh, more, uh, we can draw a less number of conclusions. We cannot draw more conclusions, which means. Uh, uh, very less conclusions uh, only we can uh, uh, we can give uh, to the uh, uh, at the end of the test procedure so therefore this is these are the uh, differences between parametric and non parametric tests parametric and non parametric methods are 
we can consider non parametric methods or non parametric parametric and non parametric tests so these are the main differences i have explained the parametric and non parametric tests thank you